And so I was just thinking yesterday about, you know, what's sort of changed uh, in the last 20 years or so that I've been in this business. We see things moving to the cloud, and I think that sort of model of moving to more of a services and having that uh, all those facilities and, and work outside of your own uh, control is something that um, the government is, is learning to um, adopt in some areas and has to be part of the conversation. But I think the thing that stuck out to me more than anything else is really just the pace of change. Thomas Friedman talks about living in the age of acceleration. The time that it takes for an invention to make the world uncomfortably different is increasing so fast. Centuries for the longbow to be adopted, you know, decades for the car and airplanes, but just five to seven years for mobile phones and, and cloud computing. I believe personally that uh, the commercial um, space industry is extremely exciting and, and I hope to be a, a part of uh, the government's future plans for a long time. Thanks. Improving the resilience of our space systems has been uh, a major focus of the department in the past several years, uh, but you know this doesn't happen quickly. It doesn't happen overnight, uh, and so that's what we want to discuss today. Uh, what are the big issues? What should we be working on? What should we be focusing on? Uh, and where are we headed in the future? I think what, you, what you'll see in the budget is uh, measured steps across the enterprise in terms of how we, you know, we address mission assurance, uh, but. Uh, they will be measured steps. Again, we're not going to get this done in one fit-up. And we have already begun, beginning with the 17 budget, and even before, uh, a number of investments, um, whether it's uh, uh, making changes to um, Cibers SV5 and 6 to enhance uh, resiliency on those assets, taking utilization of the protected tactical waveform, investments in enterprise ground services, and uh, maturing out the efforts as part of the AFRL-led GEON in support of the National Space Defense Center. And the investments have begun steadfastly, and I think it's fair to say, consistent with what Dr. Hardy said, that you'll see uh, investments continue on that path. As people look into the FY18 budget looking for the line item called resiliency or within specific programs, I think you need to think of consider this from a broader aperture, right? Resiliency isn't just things, it's also processes, it's peoples. Uh, you know, you're talking about making sure that operation plans, you know, consider a war that goes into space. So I, I would caution when you look into any budget that you don't just look for things that say resiliency because it's a, it's a whole of government perspective here that it has hard power but also soft power. It has hard science and soft science and it's when you bring all these things together, whether, you know, it's at the Pentagon or at the White House, that's where you really get the, the full effect of things going on.